just ahead this morning, an inspiring nurse who found a new way to help others after her own battle with the coronavirus. But first, this is Today on NBC. We are back with the search for solutions. This morning, the story of a nurse in Washington state who will give you an even greater appreciation for our nation's health care workers. She was, she was actually among the first Americans to be diagnosed with coronavirus. And now she is using her own fight to help other patients. Here's NBC's Joe Fryer. After everything Sheila Julik has been through the past two months, this is relatively easy, showing up at Bloodworks Northwest in Seattle to donate plasma. She says it's the one thing she can do to make up for the thing she could not. I don't want to cry. I couldn't be there to say goodbye and to those that I took care of. At age 79, Sheila still works as a nurse, a longtime employee at Life Care Center, the now infamous senior facility in Kirkland, Washington. You just want to make their life as good as possible. And you make friends with them. In late February, before COVID-19 had been diagnosed at the center, Sheila says she started to feel sick, so she stayed home from work. You think, oh, I'm getting better. Then all of a sudden, the fever is back again. She would soon learn she had COVID-19 along with many others at Life Care. Stuck at home, Sheila helplessly watched on TV as her place of work became the nation's first coronavirus epicenter. It's hard losing them all. I mean, you lose people in a nursing home. It's expected. One here, one there. But never so many so quickly. To date, at least 37 deaths have been linked to the facility. I couldn't go and families couldn't see them either. You know, when they left for the hospital, they couldn't be in that. I mean, if I had it hard, I, the families were a thousand times more. After Sheila recovered from a relatively mild case of COVID, she realized what she could do, donate her plasma for research. It's a breeze and no problems at all. Researchers are exploring if antibody-rich plasma from patients who've recovered from COVID-19 can help those who are ill. It's a technique that was used to treat other infections, including SARS, Ebola, and the H1N1 flu. We are hopeful, we're optimistic, uh, but we don't have concrete evidence yet about how it works, where it works, what's the best time to give it. Dr. Nigel Panath is a professor at Michigan State University and is on the leadership team of the National COVID-19 Convalescent Plasma Project. It's a group of physicians and scientists from 57 institutions who've organized to investigate this potential treatment. Trials are underway. The key is getting plasma from people like Sheila. To the people who are making these donations, what is your message to them? Here's a chance to do something really great. I can't guarantee you that it's going to help somebody, but we'll find out. On this day, Sheila donated 840 milliliters, enough, she was told, to possibly help three or four patients. And I told my grandkids, <laughs> their grandmother's superpower is she can relax in a recliner and save people. <laughs> I don't need a cape to fly through the air. <laughs> she hopes to flex her superpower weekly with plans to donate again this Friday. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News. Wow. I think she is a superhero. <laughs> Probably going to inspire a lot of people. Yes.